Hey everyone, welcome to Skyline Emotions and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this type of really cool looking text animation in DaVinci Resolve 15. So let's have a look and get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to create a new project. So click on this new project and let's rename it to text animation and click on create okay after that we have to change some settings so click on this setting button and change this timeline frame rate 24 to 30 fps and playback frame rate 30 fps and click on save all right so now we have to take a solid color so go to this toolbox and here is generator so click on this generator and here is solid color so just drag this solid color to the timeline something like that and uh, right click on this solid color and here is new compound clip so click on this new compound clip and let's rename it to text and click on create now select this text and go to the fusion tab and here we get two node media in and media out so just delete this media in okay and then right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap okay and just drag this media out over here now let's take a background node so click on this button here and take a background node and let's rename it to line so press f2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to line and click on ok now let's add a rectangle mask so select this line and click on this button here to add a rectangle mask something like that and place it over here ok and now drag this line to the viewer Okay, now select this line and pick a color something like yellow and click on OK. Now let's create a line and set this value something like 0.01. Okay, and now let's set this width value something like 0.06. Okay, and now go to frame number approx 60 and right click on width click on animate and go to frame number 0 and select this rectangle and set this width value 0 okay so it's looking something like that all right now go to spline window so just click on this spline over here and check this rectangle and click on this button here to fit this keyframe and select this keyframe press s to smooth and hold this handle and create a curve something like that so now let's play this all right now let's close this spline so click on this and now we have to duplicate this rectangle so just select this both node and press ctrl c to copy and paste it over here by pressing ctrl v something like that and paste it over here and now we have to take a merge node so click on this option here and add a merge node and connect this yellow point to this and green point to this and drag this merge one to the viewer now just go to frame number 30 select this rectangle one and right click on center click on animate and select this one and right click on center click on animate okay and then go to frame number approx uh, 90 and set this rectangle something like that and select this rectangle something like that now just right click on this flow window and go to guide and here is show guide so check this and now set this line according to the guide okay so now let's check this okay now click on this spline window and uh, click on this triple dot here and click on this select one tool okay and click on this rectangle one displacement and click on this fit select this keyframe press s to smooth and create a curve something like that okay and check this rectangle one displacement and click on this fit button select this keyframe something like that and press s to smooth and hold this handle and create curve something like that 
And now let's play this. Okay. Now close this spline window. Okay, now we have to add a text node. So click on this text button and add a text node, place it over here, something like that and type your text, whatever you want to type. So I'm typing animation. Okay, and after that, I'm gonna create a mat node. So just click on this BG button to add a background node and let's rename it to mat. So press F2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to mat and hit enter. Okay, now place it over here, something like that and add a rectangle mask with this mat. So click on this rectangle mask and place this rectangle mask over here. And now go to frame number approx 90 and set this mask according to the yellow line and press control and a scroll up to zoom in and set this mask something like that. Okay, now select this rectangle and right click on height, click on animate and go to frame number approx 30 and set this height value zero. Okay, so it's looking something like that. And now click on this spline and select this rectangle two and check this height in rectangle two and click on this fit button, select this keyframe, press edge to smooth, create a curve, something like that. Okay, and click on this spline. Okay, go to this option here and click on fit. And now let's take a merge node. So click on this merge button, place it over here and connect this yellow point to this mat and green point to this text and drag this merge to the viewer. Okay, now select this merge and here is operator. So change this over to in and select this text and change this font style. So I'm using century gothic. So this is our century gothic font style. So click on this and change this bold to regular. And now set the size of this text, something like that. And now we have to take another merge. So click on this merge button and add a merge node and connect this yellow point to this merge two and green point to this merge one and drag this merge three to the viewer. Okay, so now it's looking something like that. Okay, now go to frame number approx 149 and select this text and here it's size so right click click on animate and go to frame number zero and let's decrease the size of this so now it's looking something like that and now we have to set this text in center so just select this rectangle and go to frame number approx 90 and set this line something like that so now it's looking nice and then go to this option and click on fit and now let's play this Okay, now select this text and click on this spline window and check this text text one and click on this fit button, select this keyframe, press S to smooth, hold this handle and create a curve, something like that. Okay, so now close this spline window and now attach this media out with this merge three so just connect this yellow point to this final node and drag this media out to the viewer okay and go to edit tab and here is our text so now let's apply this text on a background so just drag this text something like that and now let's create a background so go to folder and import an image so i'm using this one and i have downloaded this from pixabay.com and link given in the description so download this and drag and drop to the timeline something like that okay now let's do some adjustment with this image so just hide this upper layer 
by clicking on this button and go to fusion tab and now select this media in and add a color corrector node with this so press ctrl plus a spacebar for search box and search for cc so this is our color corrector node so click on this add button and select this color corrector and here is saturation so set this saturation value zero and make it black and white okay now we have to take a background node so click on this bg button and let's take a merge node so click on this merge button and attach this green point to this background and just de-attach this media out and connect this yellow point to this color corrector and drag this merge one to the viewer and select this merge and set this blend value something around 0.25 so put the value 0.25 and hit enter and now we have to attach this media out with this merge one so just drag this yellow point to this and now it's ready so go to edit tab and click on this button and now let's take a render preview okay now we have to change some settings for a smooth render preview so just click on this setting button and here is optimize media and render cast so check this option and this one also and click on save okay and now let's play this all right so it's looking nice now one more thing we have to do let's duplicate this text animation by pressing ctrl c and place this cti over here and paste it by pressing ctrl v okay so now let's reverse this animation so right click on this and here is change a clip speed so click on this option here and check this reverse speed and click on change and just drag this background something like that and select this background and just hide this layer and go to this fusion tab and take a transform node so just click on this transform button and add a transform hold shift and attach this transform something like that and select this transform and go to end of this animation and here is size so right click on size click on animate and go to the beginning of this animation and let's set this size something like 1.25 and now it's looking something like that and then go to edit tab and enable this layer and now let's check this animation all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it so i will see you next tutorial till then bye bye